So when you're striving in your own strength, like it feels like you're doing the right thing for so long until you hit this wall. It's like until you hit this wall, it's like you, you don't realize, yo, this is not working. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, welcome. My name is Andrea and we're about to hop into this topic today, okay? This recent season, I have been struggling with trying to reach this level of something within my own strength, whether that is working out, whether that's business success, whether that is mindset stuff, whether like it's been so many different things that I've been struggling with and it's particularly about business today, but why trying to do it on my own doesn't work in <laughs> the lessons I've learned in the process of trying to figure that out. So that's what we're talking about today. Okay, so I wanted to read something from this devotional that I do, I try to do this every morning, um, but it is Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. It's a really popular devotional, so if you haven't heard of it, definitely check it out. I'll put the link down below in the description box for you guys um, for easy access. But I wanted to read something that I read the other morning when I finally pick this thing back up again. And so first and foremost, before I do that, let me kind of give you a, a backstory of what's been going on. I feel like I've been struggling with anxiety a lot. I've been struggling with just kind of the results of trying to do it on my own. The results of like not being in close communion with God is what's been going on. So stress, anxiety, striving, all these different things and trying to feel like God, yo, like where, where you at bro? Like where you at? <laughs> like, and not realizing like Andrea, you're not spending any quality time in God's word with God and communion with God. And that's why you're so stressed. And so it's like, I have certain cues that normally go off <laughs> um, whenever I realize, or whenever I haven't spent a lot of time with God, but it's obviously up to me to be like, yo, Andrea, this is why you're feeling like that. So anyway, that's what's been going on. Anxiety, stress, just, so much it's been a super busy season but not in busy like a good way if that makes sense like i don't strive to be busy that is not my my dream that is not my goal in life is to be busy my my goal is to be effective and to be glorifying a god and the kingdom and there's so many different things but i don't strive to be busy and so when i say busy that is not a good thing for me so it's just been a kind of a crazy season and instead of me waking up each morning spending that at least 30 minutes of 30 minutes um a quiet time with god every day like i try to do i hadn't been doing that and i've just been kind of getting up and going and getting on social media and then running out and it's like my habits my morning routine have really been in existence okay and it's just been really really bad like my, in my habits so i actually started reading atomic habits recently and like well again because i've read it one time before and didn't apply it so i'm reading again and applying them but I woke up the other morning and I said, you know what? I need to get back into quiet time. And I felt like God was like, Andrea, don't feel like you have to spend five hours of time, excuse me, with me in the morning. Just pick up your Jesus calling devotional and at least start with that. At least do that. And I'm like, you right. You right. Okay. I'm about to read something for you guys from Jesus calling that I read the other morning on May 21st. It says, I, the creator of the universe, am with you and for you. What more could you need? When you feel some lack, it is because you are not connecting with me on a deep level. I offer abundant life. Your part is to trust me, refusing to worry about anything. It's not so much adverse events that make you anxious as it is your thoughts about those events. Your mind engages in efforts to take control of a situation to bring the result you desire. Your thoughts close in on the problem like ravenous wolves, determined to make things go your way. You forget that I am in charge of your life. The only remedy is to switch your focus from the problem to my presence. Stop all your striving and watch to see what I will do. I am the Lord. And I thought that, I was like, God, I know that's for me. I know that's for me. I know you spoke through Sarah and put this in here for me for this day because that, like that hit on everything that I was struggling with in terms of the striving, in terms of focusing in on the problem, focusing in on the issue. I'm just so grateful for God, you guys. And I'm so grateful that we don't have to do this thing alone. And to talk about kind of the point that I wanted to kind of hit on is in terms of specifically within business is I feel like I've been trying to do it on my own. And I've been trying not to put God at the center of my business because I didn't want to offend anyone. But I'm at this point where I'm like, you know what, Andrea? why <laughs> why do you feel like that jesus came and he offended people he like people fell in love with jesus and people hated jesus and that's jesus bro like what and so i'm at this point where i'm like okay andrea but what what makes you different like what has made me different 
is the fact that I'm a Christian. And I don't say that in terms of like, that makes me better. That's not what I'm saying. But when, when it comes to business specifically, every single client that I've worked with has said so, in some way, shape or form that I'm relatable and that um, they liked that I was a Christian and they hadn't seen that perspective. So that that's something that I'm like, then why am I trying to exclude that aspect of my life, that relationship with God out of my business? Why am I trying to push that out and kind of like not make it kind of, you know what I'm trying to say? So anyway, that's one of those things that I feel like has been swirling in my mind. And I finally realized like, Andrea, yo, like you, you attract Christian business owners because you are a Christian business owner. And that's, that's what you love. Like whenever I am coaching, God is going to come up so much, shape or form. So for me not to put him in the center of my business officially, that was causing kind of the, the issue and then me trying to do it on my own. And also I felt like I was not praying over my business. I was not fasting over my business. I was not looking into that. I'm like, God, you gave me this vision for my business. You were the one that sustains my business. Why the heck am I not talking to you about my business? Yeah, that, those are just some updates that I feel like I've seen recently and I will say prayer is big. God is big. Relationship with God is big. And so if you have a business, don't exclude God from your business. You don't have to be behind the pulpit. You don't have to be doing all these different things in order to give God glory through your business. Whether you are a cupcake shop, whether you are a clothing business, whatever you do, there is a way for you to, even as the business owner, for you to give God the glory in everything that you're doing. And that's something that for me, I'm, I'm really working to get back to. And there's really not much I have to do aside from just spending time with God. It's literally it and then allowing him to guide me. That's the other part is I felt like I was trying to guide myself and I was trying to, again, trying to do it all on my own strength and wondering why I was stressed, wondering why I was struggling, wondering why there was so much going on. And I did a recent life update um, recently on my channel about this topic. But yeah, I just kind of come to the conclusion where I'm like, why it feels i'll be honest it feels like it's easier to do it like myself without god sometimes because it feels like he's moving too slow and that just that whole statement is just pride just written all over it and i'm like no like god if you want me to move slower i will move slower if you want me to move faster i will move faster like i will go after what you want me to do and it's like that mindset that i have to continuously come back to because i am kind of a fast mover sometimes that I have to be sure that I am focusing on God. Is this what you want for me right now though? Like it may be something that I want, but is this what, is this your will? Is this what you want in my life? And so anyway, doing stuff on my own, you guys has only resulted in like anxiety, stress, craziness, busyness. Um, I heard this quote from my boyfriend's mom and she said, if the devil can't distract you, he'll keep you busy. And I was like, yo, ouch, ow. <laughs> and so ever since she told me that, I was like, that's actually pretty scary. <laughs> but, but yeah, so anyway, yeah, those are some things that have been going on. And I've just realized I'm like, I want to get back to my Christian videos that I used to do before. Of course, I'm still a business owner. This channel is not changing in terms of like the actual topics but I'm more so going to allow my faith to shine more because I did feel like for a season, I kind of cowered it back because I didn't want to offend anybody. And I'm like, that's not my, that's not it. <laughs> that's not what it needs to be. Everybody else can be so loud with their beliefs, so loud with everything else. So why can't Christians be just as loud, if not louder, with the good news? So I think that's one of the things that I have to kind of keep in mind. That's been going on. So praying over your business, fasting over your business and just committing your business to God is just so important. And yeah, when business has, has gone the best, it's been when I have been committed to God and not when I've been striving, not when I've been doing all these other things on my own. It's like, no, how do I partner with God for this business that he blessed me with? It's kind of like trying to do God's ministry without God in it is something that it's just, and I, I, I've had the habit in the past of trying to do that and it's just dumb. So. Anyway, <laughs> that's an update on that. But yes, you guys, let me know if you guys have felt the same way. Comment down below, let me know, as well as feel free to shoot me a DM over on Instagram so we can talk one-on-one -on -one if you want to as well. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful. I didn't really have a script or an outline. I was just kind of sat down. I wanted to talk to you guys about this topic, but let me know if you have any other video topics, if you have any questions as well, comment down below in the comment section and I'll see you guys later. Bye.